Greetings everyone, Lala Togo here and welcome back to Mother, as I call it. I don't call it Earth Bang Beginnings because I grew up with it called Mother for years. Anyway, in the last episode we got to this town known as Marysville, that's right. And in this episode we're going to explore this area. Oops, or leave it, okay. This is the um, Twinkle Elementary School. So there's a, one of the kids here, children, kids, don't run in the hall. Oh, look at me, I'm running, I'm running, what are you going to do about it? What are you going to do? Nothing, I've got psychic powers, I'm telekinetic and you're not. Okay, um, I'm busy so I can't help you right now. One of the children here can give you a cold, so just, I've got to um, try to make sure, ah, uh, you know what, I don't know who it is, but I'm scared. Small wounds can be treated here. Yeah, there's, um, this person, I guess it's like the school nurse, um, fully heals you, doesn't get your PP back up. Although that's weird, I guess she's kind of old, but she <laughs> has such a bad joke. <laughs> anyway, but she, um, she, yeah, she can fully heal you, so really useful. Um, nice music here as well, which it only plays in this building. Man in the Lamb, okay, have you played Super Mario Bros. 7? In the Japanese version, he says, um, Dragon Quest 4. It's kind of like that toad in the Thousand Year Door who says, um, Oh, I can't remember. He says, like, some game he's playing, you know, in a Petalberg. It reminds me of that. I can't even remember what the game is, though. Oh, whatever. Uh, let's have a look here. Yeah. Any first grader can do a cartwheel, don't you think? Well, maybe, what, like, like, year one, I guess, is what she means. I still don't know how to carry in subtract, carry over in subtraction. That's stupid. I can't do a cartwheel. Wow, whoa, a bit of the fail class there. Okay, what do you say? I saw Lloyd steal explosives! I'm afraid of what Mr. Teacher will say. I called him Lloyd, L-O-I-D, because that's like his Japanese spelling, uh, rather than double L-O-Y-D. I am Susie, I'm Miss... Miss Marysville. Aren't I gorgeous? No! You are ugly, you remind me of a... N what? A noggle? Oh my god. <laughs> You remind me of a noodle noggin. Oh, that is, that is certainly one of the worst insults I've heard in my life. A noodle noggin. The janitor has the keys to the roof. But he wouldn't give it to me. Okay, can you now get out of the way? Yeah, if I hold B, all the characters sort of move quicker, which is quite nice. Um, oh, I don't know. There's, you told all these children, I mean, you know, they don't really do anything, no. One of them does give you a cold, so I just don't really care to go and talk to all of them. Uh, and then the only way to heal that, of course, is in a hospital. I was picking on that weakling Lloyd, but he got away. I don't bully him. He's just the same as Jeff, or we're not the same, but he's very similar to Jeff in Earthbound. So he's, um, well, you'll see. Oh, look, a piano. Can you actually do it? No problem. No, you can't even play it. That's just rubbish. If, I, if that was me, I literally just like an hour ago went into the uh, university <laughs> where I happen to be uh, just to play the piano. Although they moved, there was one that I really like, and they moved it out of there, it was really annoying. Slingshot, that's a rubbish item. But yes, so that would be me just doing that. Plastic bat, what a waste, although, potentially good to sell. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have bought the uh, sports drink, I would have been able to carry this and sell it and just get money. You know what, I'm tempted to just, um, well if I, I could run all the way back to the house, um, to store one of these things, but I don't really care to do that. Anyway, what do you say? La la la, dandelion seeds fly up to the sky, la la la. I love music most of all, but that's nice, isn't it? <laughs> I think Lloyd will grow up and become a computer engineer. Okay. Keep quiet in the library, this is a... Oh, Flip! No, she's not the one who got... No. F I've got the cold! The thing I was trying to avoid, I've got it! This, every eight steps you take, you take damage, and there's no way to heal it now. Okay, well, I'm just slowly dying. Let's go up here, anyway. There's a padlock on the door at the top of the stairs. Oh, can't go up then. I'll tell you what though, I can be healed downstairs. So maybe what I should do is go all the way down, try and find that woman. I'm gonna have to go into the hospital. I'll tell you what, I'll use the, the healing item I've got and then I'll go and get the plastic bat and that's how it'll work. So we can heal myself here. Thanks. And then let's go in here and we find the janitor, the caretaker. Series. Anyway, of course the door to the roof is locked. We can't have students sneaking out to play games when they should be studying, you know? Yes, it's not that big of a problem. My wife is a bigger problem. Um, 
She doesn't get out of bed until afternoon each day. Oh, how disgraceful. Do you believe it? Women these days. She won't even pack me a fun bag lunch. What? Isn't that just horrible? Yes, horrible. Then when she does get up, she goes shopping. Luckily, I hid the credit cards from that woman. Don't you think she's a terrible wife? No, no, no. When she was young, she was very pretty. Come to think of it, she's not that bad after all. Would you like some tea? Oh, I happen to have some right with me, so yes. You're a pretty good kid. You say you need to go up to the roof? Now look, if I hold B, look. Look, he's going at that speed, but if I hold B, it will go way faster, watch. Speed, but they're both running now. They're running through the school. Um, yeah, I actually have some tea right with me, so. My wife was the first Miss Marysville in history. What is that? Miss Marysville? She's named after the town? Okay, I've not thought it's like she's so popular though that everyone just calls her the town name. It's unforgettable. Oh, is it? I'll be the judge of that. Oh my god, I'm never gonna forget this. <laughs> Great, I like how you see little buildings. Oh, I'm flipping it ill. I can't believe I said I was gonna avoid it. Let's check the bin here. Question mark. Okay. Who are you? I won't come out. If I do, everyone will pick on me. Oh, it's shaking. So, so someone in here. You want to be my friend? Don't tell anyone, but I stole some explosives. Yes. I'm coming out now. I bet you are. Oh, there he is. There's Lloyd. No eyes. His glasses hide his eyes, apparently. Hi, I'm Lloyd. I wanted to fly the bottle rockets that the sweet little factory was producing. And is that all he says then? So, yes. So that's what he says. So now what we've got to do... Uh, I'm going to use the healing item and then go and get the presents and go and sell uh, the thing. I can't believe I got the cold after I was trying to avoid it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just... <sighs> I suppose I could use like the bread. I wanted to save the bread for the dungeon. I recommend getting some bread, by the way, if you don't have any at this uh, point in the game. Because it's useful just to uh, do it. Tell you what, the slingshot probably sells for more than the plastic bag. I suppose you can sell both of them. So what I think I'm going to do... What I'm gonna do is just go and uh, heal myself in the hospital, go and sell these items to get a bit of dough, <laughs> a bit of money, and then I'll meet you back when I've done that. So, see ya then. Alright. Hundred and ninety five? What a git. It's like half my money. You little scallywag. No, because I don't need anything. Fine, die all on your own. What the hell? I'll phone a mortician. Oh my god, a flipping Nez game that says die? Who'd have thought it? Do, 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 do. That's insane. Can't believe they put that in the game. Alright. Oh, <laughs> a bit of a voice back there. Alright, so there you go. I've healed myself in the cold. I've, I've healed myself at the school. And uh, done all that. So now I'm going to go over to Sweet's Little Factory. Which is sort of down here somewhere. On the way, probably going to find a load of enemies. Here we go. <laughs> oh, a bear. Yeah, I definitely recommend getting some bread before you go to the factory. Because um, it's useful to get out of it, as I say. Uh, life up cream will be useful. And obviously you want the Onyx hook forever. Forever. Eagle, was it? I fought Eagle, yeah. I don't know. I think I did. Oh, it, oh no, I dodged. I thought he dodged. I'm not doing too badly against the enemies. I don't think... The thing with this game is most people, I think, play Earthbound first. I, at least the way I actually recommend to play the series, really, is you play Earthbound, then Mother 3, and then go back and play this one. Little source of A and B. Um, because it's definitely the hardest in the series, I suppose, but it's actually quite short, this game, if you know what to do. A oh, one damage. Um, the first time I ever played it, I played it with the Mother 1 Plus 2, um, hack, you know, the tr translation with the Easy Ring, which, did, well, the name is accurate, Easy Ring, it basically means for most of the game you don't take, you take one damage from all the fights. I think it was a bit, <laughs> smash! I think it was a bit too easy, because you just take no damage, really. Um, the only thing is, I think it also reduced the enemy encounter rate, but that meant you didn't get as much money. Okay, ah! Oh. Okay, if we have a look here, the sign, Sweet Little Factory. Okay, so we're going to go in here, and this is like a little dungeon. Now what I'm going to do, <laughs> walk forward this set, bread, uh, use the bread, rather than eat the bread, and he drops the crumbs. So now, if I go on goods again, I've got crumbs, and if you use them, um, 
if you follow them, you will return to the place that you started. What it means is the place you dropped the crumbs, that's what it means. So this is like a little dungeon here. Um, and there's loads of enemies. It might be a good idea to get the repel ring. Oh god, there's loads of enemies in here. Oh no, rat. Not exactly that bad. Uh, the objective is I'm trying to get to the top where the bottle rockets are. Bottle rockets, because that's what Lloyd wanted. Now, I'm just, you really only have to go to the top, but there are some presents here that are worth getting. I've got one gap in my inventory space to hold them. I suppose you can also come back here after you've done this and just keep coming back and getting the items. That uttered dirty words. Oh, 20 less fight. And yet, still got a smash attack. 75 damage on a rat. Yeah, that does the job. Uh, there's nothing in here. Ah! It might be a good idea to get the repel ring, as I say. Uh, I think it's this room, and that has stuff in it I want, let's have a look. Open the present, there was a physical capsule. Some of these capsules, what they do, it's like the, um, oh, what they put the tabs in, um, Chrono Trigger. What they do is they just up your stats. So look, strength is increased by five. I'm just going to use them, I think, because there's not much point in not doing that. Uh, and this is a life up cream, which is really useful. So that's, so I, I'm just going to get those. I'm not getting everything. The other rooms have stuff like, well, nothing or magic herbs, maybe, which I don't really need. Okay, this place doesn't really have the best music. It's just like, d -d 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 I suppose it's supposed to represent like a factory, sort of like working sound. It's like a conveyor belt and like machinery. Um, just, you go right there to go up. I'm going this way to have a look. What's this item? Okay, what's this? I'm not going to remember to take it. Let's have a look. A oh, fight capsule. Um, okay, see, it'd be good if I could hold that. I guess I could come back here later. Um, the alternative. See, I don't really have much room now. That's kind of a shame, isn't it? Um, I don't really need the ocarina. I've got two life up queens. I think I'm just going to use one because I want to use the, uh, the capsule, honestly. I suppose what might have been a better idea is to go and get this first and then come back for the capsule. But whatever, there you go. I think most people playing this just sort of, if you know what to do, you just go straight for the bottle rockets. It's just I was trying to find out where are the best items before I came here. Bar rock. I do quite like a bar rock. A lot of the enemies in this game. And like, you know, I just quite like the way they do it. Just like a weird little robot thing. I've actually drawn them as well. They're quite nice little figures. Just like little metal things. I don't know. I mean, it's better than... If this was a uh, not your typical RPG, you know, if it was, it would just be like dragons and stuff all the time. I mean, there is a dragon in this game. Uh, oh, okay, let's have a look. Okay, I think, is there something in here? I think it might be the next floor. Ah, I'm not doing too badly against a lot of the enemies. Ah, you again? I don't know. Oh, level up. Yeah, the enemies are like dying in like two hits. Here. I mean, the rats die in one hit. So they're not really hard, there's just quite a lot of them. Anyway, there we go. Did I say I was going to beat this below level 30? I'm not sure. You get some good PSI at level 30. Oh, Antidote, that would have helped against the cold if I'd stuck it out till here. Okay, let's go up. And then I want to go right here. There's definitely some good item in this room. It's kind of odd how you just can take a step and get your gold or something. That was a quick capsule, yeah. I'm going to, um... Get rid of the antidote, I think. Let's just drop it. It's a shame. I, d definitely one thing I'd change, although, you know what I was thinking earlier, is I bet they'll remake Earthbound before this. It's like the Thousand Near Door. They've, they're remaking Paper Mario the Thousand Near Door. Really good game. Um, <laughs> but before the original Paper Mario. Obviously, Thousand Near Door's better, but I mean, it's odd that they're not even doing the original. I bet you, like they've just redone Super Mario RPG, I bet they'll do a remake of Earthbound. They're not going to remake this game. They'll do a remake of Earthbound. Uh, sort of like they did with Super Mario RPG. That would be brilliant. The remake of that actually has like the Final Fantasy stuff, like Culex is still in it, which is great. I'm glad I LP'd it before the um before the remake came out or was even known about. Okay, so right at the top here, I'm not sure what's in that room, but it's nothing good. Um, <laughs> let's have a look. There was a bottle rocket. Nintendo you bottle rocket? There's actually infinite in here. You can just get an infinite number of them from this bin. Uh, but you only need one to actually progress. So now I've got that. What I'm going to do. Oops, is use the crumbs. Use. Return to the head of the trail by following the crumbs that have been dropped. Hansel and Gretel. And there you go. And I'm out. And there's an enemy. Okay, so there we go. Um, got the bottle rockets. Now what you have to do is go back to the school. Back to school. And uh, give them to Lloyd. Kind of odd. He hides up on a school roof in a bin. 
and says, can you go and get some explosives for me? And it's like, yeah, okay, why not? Why not? Let's just help him be a terrorist. It's kind of odd. I mean, I don't remember Jeff being quite that crazy. Eagle! And up we go. Up the grass. This is not more open than even Earthbound is, I think, this game. Oh, the music sort of went down the tone. I wasn't expecting it because I'm in the school suddenly. Um, yes, it's not more open than the other ones. So let's go over here and... Hi. Hi, I'm annoyed. I wanted to fly the bottle rockets that the Sweet Little Factory was producing. Wow, this bottle rocket is sure to cause a bang. We may be able to make some more on our own. Come with me to the lab. And Lloyd joins our party. Or rather, we join him because we're now following him. And... Oh, later we should go to Duncan's factory. I've heard they're constructing an incredible rocket. Okay, I'm gonna <laughs> fast forward this bit again. I think how he goes down a pixel like that. They call me names Weakling or Four Eyes or worse, Bender. I'm sure that you've heard them. Have I? Well, I don't actually go to this school. I'm guessing. It's quite a commute of flipping Nintendo's here. Oh my god, he was looking at Nintendo walking backwards there. He's like moonwalking. Your bottle rocket and my. Great, isn't it? What? Wow, well done. You've destroyed. Everything. He's just blown up the whole room. <laughs> well done. So that's it. Now we've got Lloyd at our party. Um, if we have a look at him. Uh, level one. And he's got no PP. That's the big thing about Lloyd. The big thing. He doesn't have any um, psychic powers. He's just, he's really good with explosives and stuff. Just like Jeff and Earthbound, pretty much. Um, but yes. So I think what I'm going to do at this point is go and equip him with some stuff. Uh, and we'll do that in the next episode. So now we've got Lloyd gone through the sweet factory, sweet little factory or whatever. In the next episode, we'll continue going around the place, probably end up at Duncan's factory somehow. Until then, thank you very much for watching and ta -ra.